so welcome one announcement not really a small announcement a big announcement one of our uh, colleagues who come to this session quite regularly kashpera modi she is now appointed as head of economics in the saint andrews college so a big round of applause for her kashpera thank you wish you all the best thank you so much so today's session is going to be a very simple and short session but uh, hope it will be useful let's start straight away with sharing my screen okay you are able to see my screen yes yes okay <clears throat> so a uh, lot of times we are do a lot of uh, designing of brochures and pamphlets and announcements etc etc and uh, we uh, need to look for images so where do you look for images normally yes you can google google yes microsoft microsoft that is bing bing yeah. is one and google is the other one right mm -hmm. so these are the two places where you would uh, normally uh, want to go and search for images and then you want to use those images you can see my uh, screen now my uh, blank uh, chrome yes so if i am looking for uh, say an image of a church so what do i do i just type in google church right yeah and you can see some images out here on the right and if i want to be specific i click on the images tab here and i'll see all sorts of churches right and then i can download any one and use any one of them so it is very simple i uh, suppose i want to look for a sunset very simple you can refine your search also if you click or uh, if you are in google images that is google and then you cl click the images tab you can refine the images like if you want to see sunset on a beach so you click on beach or sunset as a wallpaper so you can click on sunset as a wallpaper or high resolution images you want whatever you can keep on refining your search it is not just sunset or i can straight away i can say sunset red so i'll see all the red sunsets okay so you don't have to be limited by anything so you can say sunset on the beach sunset in the city sunset purple yeah so it is very simple to look for images and if you like any image for example if i like this i click on this i come here i right click and then say save image as and i can use it wherever i want to now uh, this is very simple you can refine uh, the images you can pinpoint to exactly what you want but then if you see here there is one proviso images may be subject to copyright so google does not guarantee you that this is copyright uh, or other this is royalty free right for example this is from shutterstock shutterstock is a paid service so there could be a situation where you could be penalized if you use this sunset on a website and somebody claims copyright for that you could be penalized for that so that is something which you have to be always wary of if you want to use it privately fine in the sense you want to do it for a local uh, classroom staff or local society staff etc then it is no problem because i am sure shutterstock is not going to check all those but if you uh, 
are using it online, definitely you will have to be wary of your copyright issues. Am I clear on this? So some may not be copyrighted, some may be. So you have to be cautious and then you'll have to find out if they've got some ways and means to check whether this is copyrighted, etc., etc. So there should be some place where you should be able to see search all royalty free images. Yeah, there could be a watermark also. That's what Kashmir is saying that there could be a watermark. There need not be a watermark always, but uh, definitely if you are using uh, somebody else's copyright, obviously you have to be careful and you cannot uh, be a little, you cannot be casual about it because uh, we ourselves faced a lawsuit for a client and see, nobody wants to pay for images. So if you go to an image site and you say you pay $10, $20, $50, nobody wants to pay for it. So that is one place where one has to be very careful if you are using it on a website. So uh, there are many sites which allow you to have all royalty free images. We will look at one of them, which is called pixels.com. Have you heard of it? It's quite popular. P E X C L S. It is a variation of pixels. Mm. So they call it pixels.com. And this is one of the best free stock photos, all royalty free images and videos which are shared voluntarily by the creators. So you can straight away use these without any hesitation. So you can say church. So I can find a lot of images of the church. Fairly good images. It's not that key. these are bad or... Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, or you could, again, you could say uh, something like zoom backgrounds, suppose you are looking for. So you just say zoom backgrounds and you'll get a lot of zoom backgrounds, which you can use, you can download and you can use it on your zoom. Mm -hmm. Anything that you're looking for, basically, uh, you can, uh, and see here again, you have this option of zoom backgrounds office. So you want an office setup in a zoom background, or you can say zoom background, say library. So, a lot of, okay, you have some library images, but a lot of things don't look like a library. <laughs> I guess. So, so you get the idea. Again, here you can say sunset orange. So you get a fairly la large amount and good quality pictures where the actual, uh, you have these, this author who allows himself to be uh, used. And then maybe if you like him, you can ask him for some other photograph and you might have to pay for it. But whatever is displayed here is all royalty free. So pixels.com is a place to go to for any image which you want royalty free. No copyrights, you can use it without any hesitation. Okay, and then there are some sponsored stuff where you may or may not have to pay. So you have to get, uh, beware of this. It says get 20% off with quotes Pexels 20 because you're coming from Pexels, you'll get 20% off. But that's about it. But all the rest of the images which are not marked, you can get them royalty free. Okay. Are we okay with this so far? Uh, you may say, I do we get uh, Indian stuff also? Yes, you do get Indian stuff also. You can say Ganesha or you can say Lakshmi or whatever. Whatever you want to use in your
So lots of uh, stuff here. Cyber security. So if you are doing some presentation on cyber security, you can use any of these and all are royalty free. Okay. So this is something which is interesting. Let us see if we can get some known personalities. Ratan Tata. No. Maybe our Google will give us. Okay. The Ratan Data is a public figure, so having a copyright may may not work for public figures. Most of them are already all over the place. Right? So you get the idea? Yes. Now, what about the Aguirre on DN Road? <laughs> I am not too sure whether <laughs> you'll get a photo like that. Aguirre. Okay, you get lots of Aguirre's, but on DN Road, maybe we should try. I never yes. tried. Uh, yeah, see, there was a serious edge to the question. I was doing a book on my uh, my background and my heritage, which mm -hmm. is Parsi as well. Mm -hmm. uh, did some shots in that book, and uh, the ones we got were taxis in front and all that good stuff. So, and it was also the one closest to my school. So I was, I'm, you know, drawn to it. Okay, so here are a few Amiris on Lian Road. All may not be on DN road, but I am sure this Vacha Agyar is on DN road. Sorry, I didn't want to delay you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So this is the fun part. You can look for anything, anywhere. That, that is the beauty of it. Okay. And sometimes you will be surprised. You will get something absolutely crazy. Now, a lo lot of times when you are looking at portraits especially, Say, for example, now you are looking at Ratan Tata. There is always something or the other behind him. Okay, very rarely you will get something without any background. Mm. And we are, sometimes we want actually the picture without the background. We want to use a particular picture without the background. So, say, let me try to save this image. It is called Ratan the challenge always is how do I remove the background? This is the original picture, correct? Can you see the original picture? This is how it was, right? Now, I want to remove the background in a portrait. There is a website called remove.bg. Okay, remove background. This is called remove.bg. It's a very simple software which allows you to upload an image or drop a file and remove the background 100% automatically and free. Now, this is the beauty of it. So, I'll say I upload the image. I will go to my Ratan Tata image. This is the original image. And this is after removing the background. The background is gone. This is all transparent. These gray and white squares that you see, they're all transparent. You can straight away download this image and it will be a pure backgroundless image. This was the original. Lots of clutter behind. This is after removing the background. Yes, you can use this image. You download it and you can use it in a presentation, in a website, wherever you want it. Can you see how easy it is? I just had to upload the image and remove the background. Right. I just close this. Again, upload an image. And I already downloaded one other 
say I have an image of WZCC. Okay. Okay, here there are two gentlemen. Okay, this is the original. They are standing in front of a banner. I don't want the background. So I just remove the background and this is what I get. It is just a single click without any issues. Are we clear on this? Yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. Great. So I got another image. It is a beach party. And I remove the background and I don't get anything behind. Okay, all the clutter that is behind is gone. This was the original image. And this is after removing the background. But that shutterstock watermark won't go. No, that won't go. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a pirated image. Okay, this is a copyrighted image. Let us be clear. But can you see how easy it is to uh, do this? Yeah. Absolutely easy. Okay. So, uh, what more can you do here? Let us see. I'll just close this. I'll just get that original WZCC image. This was the original. Mm. With a lot of stuff in the background. I just removed the background and I got these two guys. Right? Now, see the magic. Automatically turn this image into a design. Try it now. So I just click on this. It says upload image again. So again, I upload it from my desktop. Beach this party. is the original image, right? Yeah. Now see what I can do with this image. It is generating so many designs and placing these guys out there. This was the original with the background removed. Okay. White background, transparent background. And then you have a whole lot of stuff. You can place this guys wherever you want them. You could have done this to Ratan Tata. You could have done this to. Okay. If I like this, I select it. And they seem to be very odd. <laughs> because the original photograph is only up to here. So I can edit this photograph. There is an option to edit. And I can turn on or off the elements or I can do a little bit of, now it looks decent. Mm. I can add elements, I can edit, I can draw something on top of it, I can write something on top of it, etc., etc. And then I can undo it. Just like how you could do it in Canva, I can do a lot of things. I can do a shadow, I can do a, a style, which is different. Okay. Mm. So this is the beauty of remove.bg. And then when you say try now, it takes you to another site called designify.com. You can come directly here. There is no. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Nehal has this question. Can they use that image? No, they don't store your images at all. They straight away allow you to download and that's the end of the story. They don't. But here, are you getting the idea of the design part? You can upload any image and draw a design around it automatically, or you can do it yourself. That's your choice. So remove.bg is one. Designify is the other one. Designify.com. Any questions so far? <coughs> So now let us get back from beach parties and images to some serious stuff. Everybody, uh, 
has taken a loan sometime or the other and always this there is this uh, difficulty of calculating the emi and you never know whether this guy is giving you the right emi or not the banks will say sir this is from our system i can't do anything this is the right thing now this is something which is very interesting it is called emi calculator dot net okay emi calculation is a complex thing you go to emi calculator dot net and they will give you a proper formula what is emi how is it calculated e equal to p into r into one plus r raised to n etc etc where e is the emi p is the principal amount r is the rate of interest n is the loan very easy na okay so what you do is you just come here you enter the loan amount you enter the interest rate and you enter the loan tenure and your emi is ready okay you don't have to do any calculation at all okay so your home loan if it is 50 lakhs your interest rate is 7.5% or maybe even less these days say 7% your emi calculator is automatic and instant can you see this how it calculates if your rate of interest is higher say 8% your emi is 41822 and it also tells you over the tenor of the loan what is the total interest payable and what is the total gross payment so your loan is 50 lakhs you are paying 50 lakhs 37000 as the interest and therefore your total payment principal plus interest is 1 crore and 37 lakh or uh, 37000 and it shows you graphically also what is the principal amount what is the loan amount or interest amount so whether it's a home loan it's a personal loan it's a car loan logic is the same suppose you go for a car loan car is costing not 4 lakhs but say it is 10 lakhs and that's it your calculation is instant are we okay with this this seems to be an indian site you're getting yeah, it yeah. this is an indian site yeah okay but there are lots of emi calculators i found this very simple and easy to operate otherwise there are lots and lots there are lots of other variations you can see how your interest and principal is moving over a period of time you, if you want every year what is the principal you are paying what is the interest you are paying all the details you can print it you can share it with somebody else etc etc mm -hmm. and there are lots of further complications if you pay the installment the beginning of the month if you pay the installment at the end of the month there is a small app also which you can download emi calculator and you can use it off your mobile also so this is a very very simple emi calculator any questions see how easy it is just put the loan amount put the interest rate And put the loan tenure and that suppose it is 75 lakhs what will it be suppose i make it 15 month uh, 15 years how much will it be suppose i make it 25 years how much will it be instantly it calculates and shows you the emi very very simple otherwise calculation of emi is a very complicated thing yeah if you pay up earlier can we calculate benefit yes i think there is some option deciding the best payment option uh, there there is an option to calculate premature payment also yes there is something here how to do, do a floating rate emi calculation it is there somewhere on this site itself it is there somewhere sorry but i can't pinpoint it right away but yes see uh, again if you make a premature payment or you make an accelerated <laughs> payment then it becomes very simple suppose now out of 75 lakhs you already paid 25 lakhs okay 
and over a period of time. And now your balance loan is 50 lakhs, out of which you say you pay 10 lakhs. So very simply, what you can do is you can just say, now my remaining loan is 40 lakhs, same rate of interest, my tenure instead of 25 years is now only 15 years, calculate, that's it. There, there is a way of doing it automatically, but this is the simplest way of doing it. Or for example, in your home loan, for example, your home is costing one crore, but you are paying 25 lakhs from your pocket. So you are taking a loan only for 75 lakhs. So that's it. Okay, so it becomes very easy to calculate your EMI, extremely easy. And you can challenge your bank guy. If he gives you something different, you can always challenge. Lots of times they take uh, payments in advance, they take a down payment, three installments in advance means your actual loan amount goes down. Remember this, always when they say, now suppose this EMI is 70,000, for example, in this case. Now, if he says three installments in advance, means you are paying 70,000 into three, 2 lakh 10,000 upfront. So your actual loan amount becomes 72 lakhs 90,000. It is no longer 75 lakhs. You understood? Mm -hmm. And therefore, your EMI will reduce by 2000 per month for the next 25 years or say 15 years in this case. Always remember, whenever they say three installments in advance, means they are literally reducing the loan amount. The net loan amount you are getting is less by three installments. You understood, no? So always be very, very careful when people try to trick you into taking three installments in advance, six installments in advance. It doesn't mean installments in advance. It means that so much less loan they are paying and they are giving you. And therefore your effective loan amount becomes less. So this is a very simple way of calculating. There are lots and lots of EMI calculators all over the net. Okay, we are again deciding the best payment option, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There are lots of things which they give you. So many articles. There is a blog also, and there are some news bites, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, are we okay with this? Any questions here? No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Then we also look at something very, very simple, but again, very powerful. A lot of times you have to send some information to somebody which is confidential. So you don't want to retain it on your email account also on, on the receiver's email account also. But it has to be visible to him. So there is something called PRIVnote.com, privatenote.com. Okay, it's called PrivNote. So you go to this website, you write your note here. For example, now you are sharing your, say, credit card number with somebody, right? Now you don't want him to retain it. You want him to read it once or copy it once and then just trash this particular item. So when you you have when you say create note, what it does is it creates a link to the note. So you can copy this link. You say select link, and then you send it to him by WhatsApp or email or whatever SMS or whichever way you want. The minute he reads it, what it says the note will self destruct after reading it. So the minute it re he reads it or he clicks on this link. You will see the note. I will just paste. Sorry. I'll copy this. I will paste it. So anybody who receives it, he will paste it. Correct? It says read and destroy. When he tries to say, show me the note, I will see this. This note is already destroyed now. Now, if you want, 
copy it before closing this window. So I'll just say copy and paste it somewhere else. Are you getting the idea? What it does is just creates a link to the node. We just go to premnode.com. You can write whatever. You can give a credit card number or you can give your locker number or your password <laughs> or whatever, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't destroy your PC. No, it just <laughs> destroys the node. So this is a one-time view and there are further options. You can say show options. So note self destructs after reading it or one hour from now, irrespective of whether that guy reads it or not, the recipient, whether he reads it or not. Okay. Mm. Or 24 hours or seven days or 30 days. So you can give that option. It also gives you this option. Do not ask for confirmation before showing and destroying the note. You remember we saw that this note will be destroyed. Do you want to keep a copy? Just copy paste. Right now, if you say do not ask for confirmation, means that fellow doesn't know that it is going to be destroyed, so he might as well copy and paste it. Otherwise, it you can even put a custom password. So, in spite of all these restrictions, you can put a password and you can convey the password to this person in another mail. So, only after he enters the password and he clicks on the link, he will be able to see the note. So that is, and of course, destruction notification. So when it is destructed, you can just email it to this particular email ID. How safe it is? Again, as I said, these people are just, you, you can give it in an encrypted form. It's not necessary that you have to say, this is my ICICI bank credit card number, and this is the password for that. You need not do that. You can just give the number and give the password, and that's about it. It is relatively safe, but as I said, like it is going to a third party site. So you have to be careful in any case. But suppose you are writing a simple thing like uh, your wife is purchasing some jewelry and you are giving her your credit card number. How will you send it? Whether you send it on WhatsApp, whether you send it on SMS, whether you send it by email or you send it by Priv note. Any case, there is a third party involved. So you have to be careful. You have to be a little, or you send it in different parts or in different ways, put a password. If you put a password, it becomes much stronger. That's about all. Okay, so you can send notes privately, which are self-destructing. So if you don't want the recipient to hold that information or to view it again, you can make it self-destructing. Okay, so the title itself says, send notes that will self-destruct after being read. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, any questions here? So this is a very simple, these are all simple tools, which if you use it when you need it, at least if you know it, you can use it when you need it. Mm. There are two, three other simple things. For example, you are on a portal. And uh, you are looking at some story, for example and you're doing some research or you want to print this story. How do you print it? Any, any ideas? Uh, yes, the, I copy it and print it to put it into. Yeah, you uh, paste it into Word. Word and then take out all the adverts and then turn it print into. Print out all the adverts and all that, no? Because yeah. of that. So I can just say right click and say print, okay? And I will get this sort of a jazzy stuff, right? But I don't want all these other superfluous stuff here, correct? I need the actual story or I need the matter for my, so it goes into six sheets of paper and it gives me all sorts of junk. So I may 
paste it in Word, and then I go and delete each of these stuff. You can print to PDF, but then the still the problem remains. If you just say right click and say print, you can say print to PDF, yes. But you will get all this junk along with it, right? So there is a very simple way to eliminate all the junk. Would you like to eliminate the junk? Yes, please. By all means. <laughs> so what you do is you just copy the link. I like this story or I'm researching on this. So I just say control C. Then I go to a site which is called printfriendly.com. Print friendly. And I paste the link out here. And I say preview. Now see, this is the story now. Clean one page and I get what I want. Right? I can put it to PDF. I can print it. I can increase or decrease the font size. Okay. And I can even if I say this is image, this is superfluous. I don't need to see this guy's image. So I can just go here and delete this block. I can just go to any para and delete that block. Okay. Now, for example, I don't like this. I remove this. I remove this. Yeah, images are missing. So definitely the images are missing and therefore this is only text. If you are doing research, you will get only the text. Okay. But this is a very simple way of eliminating all the clutter and all the junk and all the images on a particular page. Isn't it simple? Yes, very. It's, it's, yes, it's said about uh, an extension to your Chrome or? Yeah, yeah. You can even uh, install the extension. It will come out here and you can just click on it instead of going to a different page and pasting it, etc. On this page itself, you can install a Chrome extension and you can do it. Yes, it's very simple. So here also, I just copy this link. I go to print friendly and I just paste the link. As simple as that. It can't get simpler than this. It would work with Microsoft Edge as well? The extension will not, may or may not work, but this is directly, you are not using an extension, no? No. no. So here it will work. There's no problem. Actually, the images should come. It, it is having a scaling of images. It is having a scaling of text. It is having a scaling of images also. So you can make it smaller, larger, whatever you want. And you can, delete. best part is you can delete chunks of it before you actually. So suppose you, for you, only this information is important. Then you can remove all the rest of the junk. But you can't edit it. You can no, no, you can't oh, edit. Okay. Okay. Either then you either take a PDF or you print or you email it to somebody or whatever. By mistake, if you do something funny, you can just undo and get all the rest of it back. Can we copy this and paste it on Word? Yeah, I can copy it. I can select it. Means if I can select it, I can copy. I can it. copy. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then you can edit it if you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you if that is the purpose, you can even edit it and straight away use it. But otherwise, any portal will have a lot of this nonsense all over the place. And it is distracting also. There are apps which are also cleaning up this. We will do it some other day. Which can clean up the web page and you can see only this part. Okay. Okay. But as far as printing is concerned, this is called printfriendly.com. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We have a lot of gadgets in our houses. 
some we purchased five years ago, some we purchased 10 years ago, some we purchased 10 months ago. And lots of times we forget where the manual is, right? <laughs> Do you always get your manuals? This is a website which claims that it gives you manuals for everything. It's called manualslib.com, manuals library. Okay, the ultimate manuals library. They have something like 5.3 million manuals in PDF form. So let's search for a product. Oh, I already did a search for my ASUS machine. I say search. I get the manuals. I can just download the manual, well, multiple uh, models, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Hmm. Hundred pages manual. This is seventeen pages manual, etc. So you want to search by brands. You want to search by categories. So suppose you say I want to search by brands, and I say black and decker. Okay, so black and decker. This is so many products of Black & Decker, but let us see only Black & Decker brand. Whether you want an air conditioner, blender, coffee maker, fan, griddle, iron. I didn't even know that Black & Decker makes so many things. Mm -hmm. Oven, rice cooker, steam cleaner, trimmer, vacuum cleaner, waffle maker. And then once you say it's a steam cleaner, then you select the model. And then you get the original instructions manual. You can just download it and use it. Okay, or you can even see it online. Next page, next page. This is very cool. You can identify, you can get, you can download this. You can share this, add to my manuals. That means you can bookmark this page. You can print this page, blah, blah, blah. All the rest of the jazz you can do very easily. So I have an old HP printer in my, at my home, which is almost 10 years old now. So I'll say HP printer. And now it will show me all the models of HP printer. Obviously I should know the model number, otherwise you are sunk. <laughs> but it has some, how many pages? Seven pages of HP printers only. So if you say HP printer, say 630. You see this, it's very useful and you can get everything instantly. You don't have to search your attic for your manuals. <laughs> you never know where you have put it, no? Uh, you have a Sony TV. So see how fast it gives you Sony Bravia search and all the models of Bravia are available here. You can just say, download the manual. That's it. Okay. Mm. Isn't this cool? I really enjoyed this. And then they have an app also. Okay. How to use remote control. <laughs> but the, it, the remote control has to be, uh, see, router, remote control, all these will have the model numbers. Na? So if you are looking for a router, say for example, you are looking for a router, which is say uh, D-Link. So you got all the routers here, D-Link, and then uh, you just select that and the manual will tell you how to use it, obviously. You can search with the model number. You got all the routers out here. Can somebody name a product which you feel should not be here or would not be here? Let's try it out. 
and this entire thing is free there is no charge for it there is nothing absolutely singer sewing machine okay let us see singer sewing machine okay so there are so many singer sewing machines how to set it up now here there is a small picture so you can even if you don't know the model from the picture itself you should be able to oh gosh this is quite a lengthy uh, one <laughs> so don't worry if you have misplaced your manual somewhere or you don't have the manual 99% of the time you will be able to get it okay now see this is 2312 futura c 150 Confidence style is seven forty seven four six seven S etc. There are thirty three ways of mo single models. <laughs> If you know the model, obviously it is much easier. Okay. Yeah, but we've looked at all foreign brands as now. Suppose you were to look at uh, something like uh, I don't know, Godrej Usha. Usha used to be a machine earlier. <laughs> oh, that's there. Okay. What in Usha do you want? Air conditioner. No, I just thought that <laughs> it's <a> sewing machine. <laughs> you know. Humidifier, iron, juicer, kitchen appliances, mixer, oven, sewing machine. Ah. <laughs> there okay. it is. Okay. <laughs> Any other Indian brand you want to look up? Hmm. Okay. Orient. Okay. Orient fan. Okay. I don't know what you will need. Need a owner's manual for the fan, but any yes, there are so many other things. Hmm. Security system, laser level, etc., etc. It's fairly a uh, comprehensive, I say. obviously the smaller local brands may not be there but the major uh, national brands should be there even if you are looking at indian brands any other indian brand you can think of anyone godrich okay <laughs> Okay, so there are so many things. So many, yeah. Voltas air conditioners from the nineteen fifties. Voltas. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Voltas blue blue star, blue star. I think they should have. Uh, Brand Blue Star air conditioners, yeah. antennas, battery chargers, fans, freezers, safety equipment. I didn't even know Blue Star had so many products. Blue Star was mainly in uh, air conditioners. Yeah, air conditioners. If you have the model number, you can look it up here, or you can see the freezers. Blue Star has freezers. So many freezers. Okay, I think uh, we have tested it enough. <laughs> <laughs> It's fairly comprehensive. Yeah, Murphy radio. Yeah, good. Somebody found Murphy radio on it. That's a pure uh, Indian brand. TVS bike. Oh, yeah, TVS oh, bike is also there. TVS. Oh, yeah. I I think it's fairly uh, comprehensive. It has three point nine million products, five point three million PDF manuals, and one hundred and six thousand brands. 
Sumit mixer. That's an old one. Sumit. Just for the fun of it, yeah. Sumit. Sumit is now sold off. Okay. To somebody else. And still isn't the name of brand name of Sumit. Okay, it is what it doesn't have, it takes you to external sites. See. Ah. Straight away. Mm. <clears throat> So it's fairly comprehensive. I guess it is quite a Onida TV. Okay. <laughs> Onida, yes. Of course. <laughs> Onida's TV was still, uh, I think so. Oh, yeah. So in the air conditioner oh, market. Cell phones, clock radios, convection ovens, LCD, LED, microwave ovens. Okay. So, oh, Bajaj Auto is also there, Chetak. Okay, so I guess we have tested it enough. It's like trying to test Google, what all is there. But this is a nice place to find manuals for anything that you, uh, okay. HP graphing calculator, it is there. I did not check for it. HP calculator is there. Okay, great. So it has a whole lot of stuff and it's a virtual uh, uh, treasure of manuals. You can search for manuals across the board. Okay, so all international brands, uh, Indian brands, Chinese brands, you name it and you should have it here. Okay. The last one I wanted to share was a site called Checkly.com. C H A C K L I checklist. It is a free checklist maker. So anything that you want to do, you want to create a checklist and you get some ready-made sample checklists. Okay. Mm. So this is also a very, very interesting thing. Make a free checklist. So you just click on it. You can create your own or you can search for free templates. So suppose I am looking for, say, a travel checklist. So what it does is it sources from multiple, say, for example, now travel packing checklist. Straight away, I click on it. And I get what all I need to do, check the luggage, carry on pack, clothes, blah, 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 toiletries, comfort items, travel dogs, tech entertainment. You can download this checklist and use it for your travel. It's as simple as that. Okay. You can just use this link, download it, copy it, paste it wherever you want, download a PDF and straight away use it. This is also very cool. So travel is one of them. Maybe I say I want to do a project management. So I want a checklist for project management. What it does is it does not store. It picks up from multiple websites. So checklist for a successful VR app development project. So I just pick it up. Defining the business, choosing the platform, design process, create content, creating videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Save this checklist, and that's it. Very, very simple. But you get ready-made temp templates. So suppose we have some teachers here. So I want a training checklist. Pre mm -hmm. training checklist. How to train a dog to guard your <laughs> house. <laughs> so this is a very simple pre-training checklist. Location, training slot, scheduling, ordering of breakfast, lunch, etc. Info 
inform mentors that attire is athletic wear or attire is formal or whatever, whatever. In the classroom, what will you do? In the field, what will you require? You're getting the idea? Yeah. yeah. So you get very, very simple, quick. Like for example, I want a product development checklist. I'm developing a new product. Let me see if I can, how to become a professional content writer. Okay. So what do I need to know? What all things I require? Hmm. Very cool. Any checklist for arranging conferences or webinars? Webinar checklist. Yeah. I think the limitation is only our imagination. Oh, good. Interesting, no? Mm, good. And of course, you can make your own checklist, but that is a no-brainer. You can use Word also to make your own checklist. But here you get some starting point. Then you can always modify it mm. and you can put your own inputs. Say, uh, let us say, uh, this was an interesting one. Say, I want a meeting checklist. checklist for a board meeting where you will meet develop the agenda even after the meeting what all you need to do Fairly comprehensive. I think that's about it. Okay. How did you like this? Excellent. Useful. Interesting. <laughs> this was something which was just simple websites. No complication, but we can use it in our day-to-day -day work. And that is what is important. We can uh, straight away pick up things, remove, <laughs> I just run through remove.bg, mm -hmm. getting the pixels, pictures, EMI calculator.net, private notes, priv note, print friendly, manuals lib, and checkly. Yes, quite interesting. Uh, Okay, my friend Yashraj, he is attending from Dubai today. And he just gave the list of stuff that we covered today. Okay. Yes. Any questions? Any suggestions? Next time, I think we are doing Excel, if I'm not mistaken. That is next month. Okay. okay. Any uh, other thoughts, suggestions, please feel free to write. If you have any queries on today's work, please feel free to ask. Can we, Yazri, can we have a kind of a masterclass on the various uh, LMS platforms that are there? Various? Okay. What platforms? Uh, learning. Online learning. Uh, LMS platforms. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I've not gone through those, but if you can share a few with me, I can uh, review them and which, maybe... is, which is best for what kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. But I have never uh, gone through uh, the LMS platforms per se as LMS platforms. Maybe I have used some of them, but I have not evaluated. Mm. Yes, webinars are now once a month. Absolutely uh, free. 
uh, how to save battery on mobile okay we'll have one session on mobile because that is one of the challenge how to save battery how to save memory on the mobile because you have limited memory but nowadays the newer mobile scheme for with lots and lots of memory you get uh, 16 gb ram and you get 256 gb on the phone itself so you don't even need an external card so but yes we can think of one session on mobiles itself but with mobiles the problem is that somebody uses android somebody uses uh, iphone somebody uses samsung and somebody uses so so many things like uh, some of these manufacturers they have lots of inbuilt stuff which is not available on other phones so it becomes a little difficult to have a synthesis and put everything under one but yes some general tips on uh, battery saving definitely we can do some general tips on cleaning up your memory samsung has an inbuilt optimizer uh, quite a few other phones have an inbuilt optimizer where you can straight away do your memory optimization you can do your ram optimization you can put your inactive uh, apps to sleep you can uninstall automatically apps which you have not used for more than 3 months lots of stuff is there it's all available right in your phone it's only a matter of opening it up but then as i said like different phones have different uh, facilities and features and we can we definitely we can do lms uh, is something which i will keep in mind but uh, honestly as i said if you have three four platforms and would like to evaluate we can evaluate those and get back but mobile i think it's a good idea yeah any other suggestions you can feel free to write to me and we'll be happy to look at those okay whatever is universal and uh, widely used is what will make sense otherwise we don't want to exclude a large part of our audience to if we do something very specific to a brand or to a particular product okay thank you thank good you good night Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good night. Take care. Thank Thank you. You. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.